We're right in the heart of winter. We just had Matariki and it's a few days later. Finally, the weather has gone beautifully flat and the brother Jasan is here. He's uh, up visiting. And so I said to him, let's go do a mission. So we've got the kayaks on the trailer here and uh, we're gonna get out there into it. Pretty nice out here, but uh, we've actually got a little shower going over, a little bit of, little bit of drizzle on an otherwise beautiful day. But uh, we don't mind because we're going to get wet anyway. <laughs> we're in our first little spot here, and the first goal for the day is to see if we can get some crayfish. We would like a few crayfish to start with, and uh, yeah, we'll try here, see how we go. I'm here. G'day everyone and welcome to another video. We start out looking for crayfish in super super shallow water. You'll often find them tucked up in the shallows if there's really nice holes like what we've got here. This area's got a lot of boulders that come down to the water's edge and it creates those awesome caves. Nothing in there. <laughs> but while I'm here, I notice there is a porcupine fish just chilling out at the bottom. So I dive down to check him out. And he takes off, comes over this boulder and leads me to this beautiful eagle ray. And I'm filming the eagle ray when it gets a bit of a shock when it realizes I'm there. Turns around, takes off, and I just follow it, just admiring its gracefulness and beauty. We carry on looking under all the boulders and in all the cracks for crayfish. This is an area where I've found them before so it's worth spending a bit of time in here and checking everything out. There's some beautiful coloured seaweed here in amongst the cracks but unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a lot of crayfish. two now the first spot no crayfish so this is more of a snappery spot there's a couple of little crayfish patches here but it's more snappery 
I'm going to go one way, the bro's going to go the other way, see what we come up with. I'll start out in this spot by doing what I call surface snooping and it's just coming over the ledges here on the surface checking out to see whether there is any snapper just parked up and resting and I don't find any so when I find a silver drummer I shoot it and turn it into a bit of a burly trail here scrape off nice chunks of meat and then head down to the floor find a rock put a rock on it so no fish can pick it up and take it away and then after having a bit more of a look for crayfish I come back and check the burley Take a nice slow approach on the burley here and looking around to see if I can see anything but it's it's pretty strangely quiet actually. This is a spot I've set burleys before and had really good fish coming on but in this case I've only got a little fish on it and totally not worth shooting. Once again we decide we're going to move spots so we get to this spot and I decide I'm just going to have a snoop around before I do anything so I come over this ledge peer down into the gutter and end up seeing a nice little snapper so I reach out on it but I'm just a little bit far away to get a shot off but then I look over this side and I see a couple of very nice trevally so line the bigger one up and pull the trigger and yeah I'm going for a stone shot and I don't quite get it I'm just a little bit high and it makes me a little bit nervous that the fish might rip off so I take it super, super easy and after a bit, get the fish to me and manage to grab it. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful Trevally, yes! Yum! Finally finished the icky job with the spear and I'm able to take it back to the kayak and I'm pretty happy about it. So when we'd moved spots I'd retrieved the silver drummer that I was using as a burley in the last spot. So in this spot I do the same thing. I Scrape a whole lot of chunks off it, get a burly trail happening, and then go down the bottom, jam it under a rock. And while I'm down there, I smash a few kinners, just to add to the burly a bit, make it that little bit more enticing. I head off, do a whole lot more snooping, a little bit more looking for crayfish and don't really find anything so I've come back here to check the burley and I'm heading down the crack when there's a little snapper there that just takes off so I just pause at this level and let things settle down again. I don't need that snapper to go charging off onto the burley and spook everything. But once I've had a chance to let everything settle, I head down and 
see this fish on the burley, so line it up, it's heading away, but I decide I'll take a chance, take a shot, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with my shot here. It's pretty much the best shot you could hope for. Spear just goes straight into the fish's brain and it dies instantly. That's the dream of every shot. No suffering for the fish and lights out. Perfect. Yes. Oh. Did you? Yeah, I hear catch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just sort of shot this. Perfect shot, too. Hit it just like lights out. No struggle. Oh, beautiful Kaumuri. And uh, check this out. Yeah, beautiful Trevally. No, that was the one I would have had you shot. Oh, I shot this one a little while ago. Yeah, uh, I'll be going back and forth. Uh, I'll push a skinner's over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I broke one open. It didn't look too bad. Yeah. Have you found some nice big ones? I, I did find your big ones, well, decent ones, but then when I jumped in the boat, you flipped over. <laughs> so they're down here. It's <laughs> all good. I got a couple. I only needed a taste. Yeah, I might grab a few. I, there's one more snapper on that burley, so I might go grab a few kinna yeah. and then leave, leave that burley to soak a little bit longer. Maybe one more snapper and then I think we've got enough. Right. On to the kinna and I'm just going through here picking the nice big ones. We know they're not going to be super big and fat, but we just want a few for a taste. So, the bigger the better, really. And uh, after a bit, I picked a few nice big ones. So, take them back to the kayak. Back to check the burley again, and I head down in there. So I get down there, get to where I paused last time, and decide to pause again and have a look. And I can see a nice little snapper there. A bit smaller than the last one, but will be perfect for mum and dad. I sit there and I watch it for a bit. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to get close to it without spooking it. And unfortunately, while I'm looking at it, it gets onto me and moves off. And so I spend just a bit more time looking, making sure there's not another fish there that I haven't seen. But unfortunately, there isn't, and I have to give up on it. found some success in the third spot in the end it was pretty cool spooked this big snapper like pretty much straight away when I got in and uh, managed to come in over a ledge and find this beautiful trevally there were two there and uh, this was obviously the biggest one beautiful beautiful fish got a nice shot off on him super happy about that and then went and checked the burley and this beautiful tongue would be on it. 
Netflix at home. So yeah, here's my uh, here's my catch. Nice big fat trevally, nice big fat snapper. Beautiful, yum yum yum. Mwah, mwah. We eat, you beauty. I also have managed to grab a few nice kinna. They're not super super fat, but they're pretty tasty, good taste. Always nice kinna in this spot, so you beauty. And uh, checked the belly a few more times, trying to get another snapper, and uh, just couldn't quite get onto it. There was another bit smaller one there that would have gone nicely for mum and dad, but wasn't to be, so. The sun is starting to go down over there. Getting a bit lower in the sky. So I think that's our cue to go home. Whew, what a stunning afternoon. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this. Don't put your gear away in winter, guys. Because that winter diving can be pretty spectacular. Cool, eh? Awesome, man. Thank you for bringing me along. Oh, you're most welcome. Yeah. Thank you for getting us a kai. I didn't find anything today. I had a pretty quiet day in the water, really. But it was just a beautiful experience just to be in the water and the sun and everything. Uh, Thank you, We made it back. It is fast getting dark as you can see by the sky in the background so we better be quick but we are just about to load the kayaks on the trailer and we've got the catch all laid out here so here we have it. Beautiful trevally. That is a really nice trevally and a nice fat snapper or tamuri. You beauty and as a snack we've got some nice little kinners. What do you reckon? Beautiful day, man. Thank you, brother. Blessings. Uh, thank you for the Ika. Thank you, Tong Tongro, Tumona. Beautiful. Thank you for a beautiful, safe day. And provide a beautiful kite to take him to the Pane. Now, Miggy. Cheers.